good they had this thing. Um, yeah, it's just battery powered. Not that great, really, for doing that. Doesn't really blow it out that well. I like my petrol one better. You can get more powerful ones than this, but you know. Anyway, today we'll be putting down a pigment on this to make this from brown to green. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Alright, so this is called a pigment, not paint. So basically it's going to be taken up by the leaf itself um, and it's going to last there until it grows out basically. So it's not paint, so it's not going to wash off. It's actually absorbed by the leaf. So I recommend you apply it to dormant grass like mine. I don't recommend you apply it to um, something like that's green still. I mean, you can if you want to cheat. But no, I know a lot of guys do it when there's a lot of disease around or the lawn's just not quite looking top notch so you can do it a lot of sports guys do it sports fields um but yeah i'm gonna put it today down on my tiff tough which is dormant as you can see because we'll be getting a lot of frosts and the freezing temps man heaps of weeds too might as well paint the weeds while i'm at it but yeah let's give it a crack and see how it turns out never used pigment before so i'm interested all right so we've got a couple of different products here today um from a couple of different companies got some from the guys at lawn solutions australia from Turf Mate, these guys here, pigment from them, and some from the guys at Lawn Pride Australia as well. So a couple of different ones there. Today we're gonna to be using the Color Guard um, Plus though, which is a liquid furt and a pigment. Now I don't really need liquid furt here, but I just want to give the Color Guard a go because I know a lot of guys are using this out there. Now the rate for this is 50 mil per 100 square meters, um, and that is in seven liters of water. So this area here is only about 50 square meters, so we're gonna go 25 mil per this area with 3.5 liters of water. All right, so since this is technically sort of like a paint, but it's not, it's a pigment, i um, not gonna get my shoes dirty, so I'm gonna put the boots on, get some gloves on. I'm a good boy. Now this color guard is actually an all organic product, so really safe, um, so we'll be fine. Enviro friendly, it even says on the label. Good on yours. So as I said, this area here is only 50 square meters. So we're gonna fill this up to about two liters. And then we're gonna put in 25 mil, that's it. See so yeah, if it's strong enough, I guess. Ooh, that's dark. Wowzers. I reckon it will be strong enough. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. That stuff is like dark as me. Good on you, mate. Tip it right on top of it. Smart. Ooh, it's definitely going green. Oh my goodness, is it going to be too green? We <laughs> right, Let's rinse that out and let's just top the rest of it up. Let's see how it turns out, eh? Hopefully, good. Um, I'm, not, I'm a little bit skeptical. I've never done it before, but. People do all the time. Have confidence, son. Last night you caught my eye. So fly, oh my, oh my. I've been thinking about you all night. I can't get you off my mind. Oh, all right, I'm going to quickly wash off the edges um, just so it doesn't stain the actual concrete. And then give my knapsack a quadruple exquillion rinse. And no one can tell that I painted the lawn. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how this looks in the morning, um, overnight, once the leaf actually takes up a bit. I even notice it's starting to look a little bit better, just the more that I look at it. I can tell some spots that I went a little bit heavy. I might even go over it again tomorrow, really lightly with a bit more, just to even out a little bit, but I'm interested to see how this turns out. But it definitely does look different to that lawn over there, from that to that. But then look big difference even from that and to that. I'll go back a bit further so you can get a bit of a bigger picture. So that's my lawn, pigment lawn, dormant lawn. Yeah, it's interesting. Have a look at this, see I went a bit, didn't go quite heavy enough in the corner there. It's a little bit fiddly but 
I'll tell you what would be smart. I reckon it would be smart to have a bit of cardboard on the edge up against the concrete like that. I normally do it when I'm weed spraying, just to stop it hitting the concrete and so you can get a bit more precise along those edges as well. So just a couple of little extra things. So make sure you don't water your lawn for at least two hours after you've applied it. If you've got like a shady area, wait even longer, but if you've got direct sunlight on it, wait at least two hours and then make sure you wash it off the leaf, the leaf of the plant any excess about two to three days after that. Only other tip I have with this stuff is make sure you do not apply it when it's dewy or the grass is wet because you won't get a very good result. Um, so yeah, just make sure you do that. And you normally see the best results 24 hours after you've applied it. So tomorrow afternoon, I'll show you guys an update of how it's looking. All right, we're back. Next day. Yes, um, definitely it's green. What do you reckon? I reckon I need to give it another application, um, which I'm not going to do today because I'm about to go and play golf. If you can't really tell. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. I it definitely looks better than having brown grass there. I just got to get the formulation right to make it look good, but I can imagine this looking great when I apply it again. So keep your eye on the channel because I will apply some more. Um, as you can see, the edge edges are fine now. There's no stains along those edges anymore because I scrubbed it off, but not bad. If you look at the drain footage too, definitely can tell the difference between the neighbours and mine as well. Right, I'm gonna give it another crack because not heaps happy with how it looks. I think it needs a bit more colour. Right, done. What do you reckon? Hmm, not bad, not bad. Definitely looks better than I did before. Get a bit more colour to it now. Not bad, man. Now it needs a cut and the weed's cleaned up. But it actually looks pretty decent. Hmm. I'm impressed. Not bad, make sure I don't walk on it because you're not supposed to walk on it afterwards, but not bad. So much better using that cardboard around the edges as well. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that video. A little bit of something different. I thought it was going to be a bit of a joke, but it actually turned it alright. But anyway, thanks guys so much guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Quiet please dog. And you have a good week. Right, this is where I work. This is the 11th of par 3. Some kaikuyu. Look at that. It's pretty much dormant this stuff. Bit of kaikuyu and a bit of rye mixed in there. Of course, a bit of power, but little par three. Let's see how dodgy I hit it. Left, come back.